Bows. 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 Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle, big, big, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. It's a unique hustle, nigga, big shit. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique house. It's your boy ECEO, and I'm here with the lovely official Miss Jamaica. What's up? Not not my dad walk on. How you doing? Good. Blessed. Oh, whoa, whoa, I started. I'm you blessed. Know? Yeah, we started now. <laughs> yeah, we got a special guest in here today, man. Smoothie 214, man. Yes, sir. Yes, what? sir. You from Dallas? Yeah, I'm from Dallas. Man. Yeah, you got yes, the 214 on now, but it didn't look like when I look at your page, you from everywhere. Yeah, I be a little bit of everywhere. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie to you. Yeah. Then when I hit you up, you say you're going to California. <sighs> Work, man. Yeah. yeah you. You you leaving us, man? Look, I be nigga. My daddy left me, nigga. I, I hate <laughs> when I despise when niggas leave me, man. Nah, you know what man. Saying? I ain't never left the city behind. Yeah, man. don't I'm leave me because I'm coming to L.A., nigga. I be tapped oh, in. Oh, nah, man, yeah, for sure. When you pull up, you good out there. <laughs> hey, word is bond. I promise so, you. So, um, I just went looking at all the things that you do, man. Mm -hmm. I seen you play basketball. I seen you model, man. Yeah, yeah, uh, I, you do music. Yeah, I do everything. Music. Yeah, so you sir. got all these genres going on. What's up with that, man? Yeah, man. Well, I actually, you started... think you Jamie Foxx? Nah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jamie actually a cool dude. Though. Yeah. <laughs> nah, you met him in person? Nah, definitely. He be having parties in L.A. So, be, be, yeah, be wild. so okay, cool. Yeah, so definitely. how did it all start? Well, uh, I started as a professional basketball player. So you know, I play oh. college. Yeah, I play college ball at. Uh, I hoop too. I oh, wear, but not. Like you, nigga. Don't try to hate. Come on, go ahead. Go to the, yeah, but now I, I uh, played professional. I played in Europe a year. Okay. And then when I came back, I actually uh, went to LA to play in the Drew League, which is sponsored by Nike. So, wow, that's big. Yeah. Is that what you always wanted to do from you were a kid? Yeah, from a kid, I always wanted to play in the NBA. So that was pretty much what really inspired everything that prospered from that one dream for real. Yeah. So, and so, how did you branch off into everything else? Well, um, I'm not gonna lie. I got a lot of like uh, messages on Instagram too. Like you know that was, that platform was building just about modeling and like you. I used to try to take pictures and um, going to LA just kind of opened my eyes. I was walking on the beach one time and the lady came up like, yo, I really want to take pictures of you. I got my clothes in the car and I was like, I'm cool. And then she was like, I'll pay you. I got a hundred. I was like, you'll pay me for <laughs> yeah, picture? Yeah, yeah. Right kid's real. Yeah, that's where it all started right there. I was like, whoa, like that wow. was easy money for real. Like, right. So. so you didn't go to the agency like at uh, Dillard's or, or at one of these stores and, and try to perform as a model and get picked. Uh, nah, you know, that's that, how most people do it down here. You know, uh, like, nah, nah, it's or a, Kim Dawson agency. You have yeah. a lot of big reputable agencies here in Dallas. So yeah. Well, look, I actually have a crazy story about Kim Dawson. I had okay. um, Before I uh, went to L.A., I had went to a little casting they had, and they did sign me. And okay. when I went in to actually meet them in person from the pictures, and they seen I had tattoos below my elbow. They took back the Yeah. And that I, was hating, man. Yeah. So who was it? The dude you talked to, a girl? Uh, it was it was a girl. How yeah. long ago she was that hating. though? That was um, 2016. Sometimes they you try know, to so make that's you still angry. Pretty recent because I know that model agencies have changed their outlook on a lot of, especially tattoos yeah, over the years. Especially yeah, now. Back then it was like. You couldn't have any tattoos. No, of course. Yeah. Now you have a lot more, you know, models who are coming up with tattoos. Yeah, it's more, it's more open and more acceptable for sure. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. do you think that, um, um, so the basketball thing when you when you started doing that when you first how did you know you was good? Did your daddy play ball? How you gonna just play basketball? <laughs> You know what I'm oh, saying? Man, you I, tall, but it, my brother tall. That nigga don't nah, play. Nah, I, I got tall I, late, man. I ain't. Yeah, I got oh, you're a late bloomer. Late. Yeah, I'm a late bloomer. So how did you? Yeah. How did you? How did you know? Man, it's it's something I always wanted to do. Okay. So just you know, just I mean, it's what I that's what I always did. Like for fun, I didn't play games. I didn't do nothing but go outside and play basketball. So and I actually I set the record. I'm from Sherman, Texas. So yeah, I set the. I was, about, I was about to say, yeah, are you yeah, I'm from Texas? Ain't about three people in Sherman. Yeah, you set the record. <laughs> yeah, we can go nah, there and set one tonight. We got, the, we got the best athletes in the state. No, nah. no cap. Yeah. For real. Who else came out of Sherman that's big? My, well, my cousin Cameron Clark, he was number one player in the state. Uh, two yeah, but what about what about what about pro? You were you were yeah. talking pro talk. Uh, we'll talk about your high school. Yeah, 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 yeah. Your cousin, look. he ain't he playing pro right now. Oh, he really? in the bag right now. So you can't yeah. really trip. So, hey, let's not talk. It's yet. true. Yeah, yeah, gonna, what, what, what team you play with? Uh, I'm not sure. I just <laughs> that's what I'm talking about, Smokey. Hey, I can barely pronounce them. The teams overseas, hey, so but, but you know what though? I know a lot of people who prefer to go overseas and play because they they say that they earn more money overseas than. Even with the NBA, Is that true? Uh, it just depends. Yeah, I mean, honestly, cute. honestly, going to the NBA makes your stock bigger. So then, if you go there first and then you go overseas, then yeah, you probably have more freedom. You yeah. wouldn't be locked into a role like you would be. But how many NBA. people actually go to NBA then go overseas? I've seen more people just go Some overseas of them first. Do, don't they? 
Uh, the what thing is, that? you probably don't notice it because they just kind of vanish in your right. eye. But what they do? The boy Marbury, he went to uh-huh. China, didn't he? Oh no, nah, yeah, he did it the right way. Though. <laughs> <laughs> he did it the right way though. He ain't got a bag. Yeah, yeah. So. yeah I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a whole different level, man. When you playing pro ball versus in, in you know, high school and college. And what was what? Some of them guys press you, nigga. Just talk about that a little bit for us. Oh, nah, man. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm nice. Like, I'm, so you I, ain't play with them boys. Nah, I play with them boys. I'm talking man. in the other country. I'm talking about. Did it? You know, they gonna try to. Press it, but it's a lot of American players over there too, right? Yes. No, yeah, you get like probably two Americans per team. Like they only yeah, allow like them two boys teams. talking funny, getting up and get talking. About, come on, yeah, with yeah, it. yeah. How, do yeah. they talk trash? Yeah, I mean, in, in yeah, other? it's just different language, so it's you like, couldn't understand what they were saying. Yeah, I mean, it's it don't pay <laughs> me too much. You What's know what your saying? average? How many points? About, about nineteen points, like seven yeah, assists. Dope. Yeah, I'm a point guard, so mm-hmm. yeah, I'm a top point guard. Yeah, I was about to man, say that's dope, man. Yeah. But how different is how different is the basketball game? with aggression and everything overseas compared to here? Um, they get away with a lot more stuff. So uh, it's, it's it's something you got to really adapt to. It's more fundamental. Like, you know, everybody know what they're doing. Like, shooters know they're going to lock in and shoot. Defensive player know they're going to play defense. So, but I'm, I'm a scorer, man. So, you know, I really yeah. get the job done. Like, well, you a shooter. You don't even take it to the to the hole at all. You know, she think you can shoot, nigga. That's a, that's a, oh, she's like, you, you don't even take it to the hole at all. You heard him. No, nah, I was top 10. It was Sarkill. Sarkill nah, 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 has she, she actually got a good, she got a good eye. She got a good eye. <laughs> she got a good eye. <laughs> so you shoot from, you from, from the perimeter. Well, you I was, yeah, I was uh, actually top 10 in a uh, percentage in a D1 my junior year uh, for Three point percentage, yeah, like mm. forty four. So I couldn't really shoot that thing. For okay, yeah. so let's talk about the music a little bit, man. You, yeah. I mean, you do you? Okay, you gonna cross? You, you crossing over to the movie? It's kind of funny. It's catching crossover, you know. <laughs> crossover. But, but when anyway. did you? But when did but, you start to do that? Well, because you did the basketball first, then the modeling came second. Yeah, I've been modeling, so I've been under my contract with Wilhelmina actually for about um, going on three years now. So I've been modeling overall probably about five years total. That's dope. So, yeah. How hard was it for you to get a contract with them? It was. A really extremely hard they're the number one agency in the nation so it's uh so you went and found them or did they come and find you um it was i could say i actually booked i booked some major things like the night i booked the big nike campaign that was global is in Times square so wow. with, with me having my face in there and then like reach and then like getting the middleman to reach out to them it's kind of like you know like when you wow. were young did you ever foresee this stuff happening for you like it did you know never i could never i could you know what i mean like, i could my story could never be like no one could have ever thought this was gonna happen that's crazy like, right? I, to, for me to be the face of jordan in 2018 because they only have one lookbook a year so I, I got the front cover of that i did a gatorade commercial i've done a porsche campaign i've done you know adidas um it, it's just countless things i just you know you like, couldn't have wrote it down. you couldn't wow. have thought this through you nah. should go back to kim dawson and say see what you missed <laughs> <Damn, laughs> <nigga. laughs> Nah. Kim, dog, you missed out on a good thing. Nah, I take the humble route, man. <laughs> well, I I hit them up and yeah, post yeah, your yeah. pitch on yeah. there. Hey, they, they, they see it, man. They see it. <laughs> so, so do you you, you on, on back to the music? So, mm-hmm. so what what when did you feel like you had some in the music? What make you think you you? The funny thing about it's music, Dallas, man. man. Yeah, I love Dallas. I you love you. You be jigging music. and stuff. What you do? Man, you a dancer? Well, you <laughs> listen to my music. Hey, I, I boogie, man. I got to yeah, you know, put on for the guy. city. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So, but now nah, my whole life though, I always freestyle, man. Like, um, that's always been one of my favorite hobbies. Really? Yeah. So even in college, I remember little frats used to invite me over just to freestyle when they drinking and stuff. Really? Like, for real. So it's something I always wanted to do, but I never wanted to mix it with my basketball. Coaches is not, you know. Just, yeah. So it it kind of came along at the right time. You know, I actually just started a year ago. Really? Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, just a year ago, and I was really inspired when I dropped my, I dropped the freestyle, and it uh it, it did like it did about thirty thousand streams in the first week, and I was shook. I was like, damn, like I see you. I mean, you, yeah. you, your numbers is up on Instagram. Yeah. You, you you're looking real special out here, man. Nah, I mean, 100%. I know it's bringing the pain. I already know how you get down. I see now. You know, they in your DM, ain't they? Ah uh, man. Yeah, let's be real <laughs> about it. They in your DM. You can I mean, tell me. I mean. Sh- Man, the DM there for a reason. I don't be doing too much. So you you don't mess around like that. Yeah, he lying, Steph. I see it, baby. Mm-hmm. Y'all got him now. No, nah, I be busy, but I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm booked so, and busy. So when you when you look at like uh like who do you who who was your inspiration when it comes to the music? When it comes to the music, man, I really just 
I do like a lot of music. I like a lot of artists. Uh, Mo3 was actually one of my favorite artists. Mo3? Yeah, that recently passed away. Yeah, he was one of my favorite artists. I mean, uh, don't try to be like everybody else. No, everybody I'm not, I'm not say cloud Mo3 chasing. when he I'm not cloud chasing. I'm not cloud chasing. But uh, as far as just like I'm saying the, his story, like, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I fucked with the story. But I mean, did not, you go to the concerts? Did you go spend money with Be Real? Nah, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna front. Like, go. I wasn't even here. I ain't been here. You know what I'm oh, saying? Oh, you were traveling a yeah, lot. Like, <laughs> but I, like, but you know, like this music. You used to st listen to it. Nah, him. yeah. I mean, because me, me being in New York, me being in LA, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm always going to be true to the South because they don't listen to the same music. They don't even really listen to the little babies like that in the West Coast. Like, they really don't. So Yeah, no, I know it. I already know. I argue with them every time they come on the show. I'd have been up there arguing with no, them. I, I went to a, Cali I got a few weeks ago. Mm -hmm. talk, and I, I'm getting New York next, nigga. My homeboy's up there. Nah, I go facts. straight to them with it. I'm crazy. Mm -hmm. They should have never gave me no microphone. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> But now, one of my favorite artists, though, uh, in the last, like, five years, to be honest with you, that really inspired me just to uh, go on with life was uh, probably YFN Lucci. He's probably oh, you like him? Yeah, his uh, his first music is Wish Me Well tape. Like, that's something I really banged out. And, uh, I actually got to meet him. You know what I'm saying? I really met a lot was of people. Was it before he was thugging and out going and getting in trouble or uh, after? Uh, what, when I met him? Yeah. Uh, I met him before, like, right before okay, that yeah. happened. You yeah. You, yeah, because you see it in the eyes that yeah. he was going to cut up. <laughs> I, I couldn't have called that, you know. What I'm saying? <laughs> no, I, I don't even know what the deal is with what it, what happened, but I do know it went viral. The fact that he had got into some mishap. Nah, fact. I mean, I give credit when credit due, so you know. No, I, you name like some good ones. Mo three, uh, Y YFN, them no. dudes is top, top was top notch in the game. Period. You know. No. So I um, want to know who is your top three artists of all time, dead or alive, any genre. Don't lie. Number I one. Gonna I ain't gonna lie. Number <laughs> one. I'm gonna go. I'm going Lil Wayne off top. Lil Wayne? Yeah, okay. I'm, okay. I'm, I'm, I grew up on Lil Wayne, man. I, I can't okay. I can re repeat no ceilings right Number now. Number two. Number two. I'm going to go Tupac. Okay. Tupac. Yeah. That's yeah, what that's, typical. Cool. that's what everybody says. I love say. Tupac. No, nah, he did. He Number did. three. He Number three. That's a hard that's one. That's always man. the hardest one. It's hard, man, but... uh. Mo three, nigga, you were just saying, and I'm like, well, don't give him the crown. Top three all time, I'm going to go Drizzy. You going Jay. with Drake? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you really listen to him on, like that? On, on consistency level, yeah. it's crazy. Like the nigga got that bed. He got that money. Nah, I mean, shh, I'm just talking about his music. <laughs> nah, he got that money too. Is it business matters. Nah, yeah. Top three business matter. You got a billion. I'm with Kanye. I'm sorry. Nah. <laughs> just being real with you. I, I'm, I'm a rock with the one we got. You know who doing that business too? Because the music is one thing, but I think it's important. Because you don't think the, the end, business? You need that is money. Important? Nah, 100. It's not just talent. It's definitely business. It's marketing behind this. It's um. It's a lot more. Once I got into it, you know that. You know your friends will tell you like, yo, just go rap. You got it. Like, yeah. okay, like. It, it costs money to go right. You no, and anything that you do, you have to build a brand. Mm -hmm. Because even, you know, being a basketball player, they always say, what's well, suppose if you, you know, injured yourself, what are you going to do after that? You have to learn how to invest that money that you're making to make it grow. 90%. Yeah. So 100%. do you think, do you, you feel like uh, it, it's a little bit easier for you because you was in sports and then you was in modeling and now you're doing the music because you got a custom, you got a base following you. No, nah, 100%. Yeah, I mean, uh, with my following, you know, it, it definitely helps by me. I, I'm also big, like, you know, I've done a lot of networking, you know, in a lot of big cities, too. So, you know, just with my networking, I have the people, you know, that I have around me. I just feel like, you know, it was the right time for me to go about it. You know what I'm saying? Man, I just, you know, the one thing I can say about when I see you guys in Dallas and how things are moving here, man, I'm proud of the city to see you know everybody pushing. You know what I'm nah, saying? 100%. Trying to trying to make trying to trying to make people recognize that we bring it in this city. I mean, a lot of times, and it's, and we got to get more organized and structured with it as well. Niggas can't be running off to California and everywhere leaving us either. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, feel like, I, think, I think that, that comes with support though. Like nah, the city you got to support. You know? What do I mean? you feel like the city is where it, where it need to be? Or what, what do you think we could do to make it better? Me personally, I do think that we have like one of the most talented cities. Like you know, I've been mm -hmm. saying that for years. Like you know what I mean? I think that people are really just not catching on because you know as y'all can see in the pandemic all the people who started moving here you know they starting to catch on but um i do think we could do better at uh just supporting each other just having events you know me being in other cities i just see how they come together like mm. you know just from release parties like to have events just for networking so you can actually meet you know instead of keeping it off the internet so well, Smokey, man, I, I definitely appreciate you for coming on the show, man. You are, you're a dope dude, man. I, when I seen your page, you know, I, I, I said, dang, I need to get this dude on here. For, and then you say, I'm leaving. I said, okay, well, you know how it go, man. Nah, <laughs> you know, I got to grab you before you go. <laughs> no, nah, it's, it's fashion week coming up in uh, New York and in L.A., so, you know, yeah. I'm, I'm going to do a few shows. Out Who there. do you look up to in the fashion industry? Um, Nobody. Look up to? Mm-hmm. Man, I'm not even going to lie and say I look up to no one because it's Nobody. like – 
You know, like, I, I, I really, you know what I'm saying, what I did and what I've done has been, like, so unique. You know, just me talking to the people I've even worked with, you know what I'm saying? I just, I look to really inspire other people. Oh, let, really? You're trying know. to set the bar? Yeah, because everybody know where I, that know me know where I came from. So that's just inspiration in itself to let you know you can do what you want to do if you, you know what I'm saying, really, truly go after it. Are wow. your parents in your life? How do they feel about where you, your achievements today? Yeah, I have both of my parents in my life. They're not together, but I do have them both of my life. Uh... I'm not gonna lie. Um, really, don't speak too much on like you know my achievements. You know, it's just it's really genuine. Like they really don't look at me like like you know they don't really even look at that stuff. They really think I'm their little boy. Like you know what I'm saying. So <laughs> it'd be it'd be crazy. Like you know, I'm gonna I'm hold you to it. When I come to Cali, man, we gonna run it, run this back. Oh, you know what I'm saying. So I man. just did like a lot of interviews out there within the last three weeks. Mm. So yeah, no, yeah, 100. Now we tied in. Yeah. So yeah. when you come out there, definitely good, man, for sure. But hey, man, we love you, brother. Like nah, I always man. say at the end of the show, man, and I appreciate you for coming on the show, man. Nah, and I and, and 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 like I said, I'm gonna run back up on you, man. You better be ready. I don't play basketball, nah, nah, nigga. I'm in these streets. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, I'm out here, man, for sure. I got my people with me for sure. Already, so, man. Already know say, what it man, is. thank you so much. We love you, bro. No, nah, no, nah, I love, man. For it's sure. been another great segment of Boss Talk 101. And we out.